You hate ads, I hate ads. You know what I like? Patreon.com slash Inkdependence keeps this channel ad-free. Hello folks, welcome to Ink Dependence. I'm Mike, and today I have another tactile turn for you. Uh, I know, they keep coming out with cool stuff. I picked up this beauty at the San Francisco Pin Show. This is made of aluminum, it has like this sort of ridged grip down here and a smooth appearance overall. This like, I think it's probably DLC hardware. I actually didn't ask, it might just be anodized, but it feels kind of DLC-ish. Uh, and this is great. But then I got back from the San Francisco Pin Show and uh, lo and behold, they put out a shop series uh, like the de next day after I got back. And so I had to book it over to tactileturn.com to, uh, <laughs> to buy this pin immediately. So this is another bolt action. It's really been coming hot and heavy with the bolt actions recently. I mean, I just got this ember, uh, which is the current seasonal. That's a bolt action. I got this beautiful aluminum. That's a bolt action. And now they released a set of pens in Tecaform. Uh, Tecaform AHUD, which is another fancy, fancy polymer. This one they got from Bodecker Plastics in Shiner, Texas, which helped them cut it into rods that they can then grind down in their signature style. Tecaform is an acetyl copolymer, it's a plastic, specifically designed for the food service industry as it can be t detected with x ray, metal detection, or optical scanners. Uh, so, this is going to be a hard one to lose. If you lose it, bust out your x rays or your eyeballs or or your uh, metal detectors. This is a plastic pen, but as you can see from all the little shimmers in this beautiful blue color, it has a whole bunch of tiny metal flakes all throughout the uh, the body of this pen. And that's because this plastic is meant to be used in the food services industry where you might want to really avoid having little bits of plastic or whatever break off in your stuff. And if it happens, you wanna be able to detect it as fast as you can. So this is uh, a blue plastic, which is easier to see than some others I suspect and also detectable with all of those methods. So they decided, hey, what if we made a pen out of this stuff? That sounds pretty cool. This is the larger diameter and I actually don't have any of the pens in Ultim. So this is my first one of their plastic bodied pens, but you can see that it is uh, a fair amount thicker than the standard pens, like the regular bolt actions in titanium. And it definitely feels a lot lighter. It's got a whole different feel to it being a plastic pen. I really like the way they did the cutouts here around the bolt. I think that's really attractive actually. With like, you can see this like cut through into the material with the ramp, really nice. The polished hardware is gorgeous against this blue. And uh, this makes a great sound when it pops against that uh, against that plastic. So this is uh, a really, really durable plastic, very nice to, in the hand, feels light, and it's not going to come apart or uh, break or anything like that. This is really tough stuff. We have the, un, the unscrewing of the front here, a little spring in there as well, a little O-ring down at the bottom to keep everything tight. You can kind of see, <laughs> there goes my ballpoint, you can kind of see like little bits of that uh, that metal in here from uh, from the machining, that's really interesting. You can see it all in the plastic, which is really cool. Comes with a uh, Schmidt Easy Flow 9000 medium ballpoint refill. This is one of the better ballpoint refills, I think. It's not my very favorite one, that's the Jetstream refill, but these Easy Flow 9000s are quite good. They're much more um, much more attainable and like a better price point, frankly. Uh, those, those Jetstream ones are like 10 bucks a piece, and these are significantly less, probably half the price. But work very well. Let me grab a piece of paper and I'll show you. Okay, so I just grabbed some random uh, you know, office paper type, you know, copy paper off cuts from when I was making labels for shipping stuff. Uh, I grabbed a few because if you write with a ballpoint on just a hard surface, it will look kind of thready. It's just sort of what they do. They sort of railroad and you get some like skips. Actually, that's not, that's not bad at all. It actually came out really well. Uh, yeah, not too bad. Not too bad at all. Good job, Easy Flow 9000. But if you have a couple of pieces of paper under there, it actually looks a whole lot nicer. And uh, yeah, very clear, very clear, very uh, consistent sort of ballpoint there with that um, Easy Flow 9000. The standard size, which uh, uses the uh, the gel refills, is um, what I've been getting recently. But I actually really like the short size as well, which uses Parker style refills, as we just saw. They're a little bit shorter. The extra girth on this one makes it feel really nice, though. So I kind of like that a lot. I think it's got a good balance in the hand. It hits my hand in good places with the bolt and with the clip there. Uh, the gel refills, of course, are going to be more 
more vivid. I went ahead and put a purple gel refill in here. It's just a purple G2 refill and this purple aluminum one. Uh, and the ember, uh, it's got a red refill, and I forget which pen I stole this from. I think it was probably a... I forget which refill I stole this from. Uh, some some red gel pen or other, but I wanted it to kind of match the red. I don't do matchy-matchy stuff with fountain pens, but I do tend to do it with ballpoints. I don't really, and gels, I don't really know why, but I do. So yeah, this uh, this new pen is, uh, is real nice. I really like the look of it, and I like the feel of it. Can't wait to kind of put this in use. And get some get some miles on it. Oh, there you go. You can see the tactile turn twenty twenty three underneath the clip there on this one. It's a little bit clearer than it is on some of the other ones. Yeah, very nice, very nice. Yeah, really cool pen. Definitely check one of these out if you get the chance. They are sold out on the website now. They might make more through uh, later on, which um, I kind of hope they do because this is a pen that more people should get. This this style is very nice. So, so there you go. Thanks for watching, and uh, thanks Tactile Turn for making amazing stuff for us to to buy. And thanks patrons for you know throwing funds my way so I can buy cool stuff like this to show you and to use on my own. So that's it. I'll see you in another video. Peace out.